I'm committing. I'm committing to the video, but just know I am sweating profusely. Hello and welcome. Look, the sleeves are already going up. Jesus Christ, it's gonna be a mess of a video. Hello and welcome to today's video where I'm going to do a little bit of a story time and a vlog kind of thing because listen, I'm very indecisive. We should know this by now. And this whole experience was something that I just kind of wanted to keep to myself. But so much happened that I'm like, okay, I gotta share with you guys what happened that night. So first off, let's address the elephant in the room. How in the hell did I get tickets? Girl, I don't know. Miss Olivia, Miss Stadium Level Olivia was like, no, I'm humble, I'm cute, I'm gonna do little theaters and little venues. I get where she's going with that. You know, she's a newer artist, she hasn't had that experience yet. She doesn't want to miss out on that. I get it, I respect it. However, I literally was fighting for my life and I won't forgive her for that. And basically how the show setup was going to be for me, it was gonna be me and maybe three of my friends, kind of depending on like where we could go. We were looking at the California dates just because they're all in California. It's easier for me to go meet them, blah, 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 blah. Long story short, only one of us got the pre-sale code and uh, it didn't go well. <laughs> Waited in the queue for like, ever. Got to the front and then it decided to tell me that tickets were sold out. So like, thanks. Thanks for that. You couldn't have told me that 20 minutes ago so I could go cry. That's fine, that's fine. It actually is really fine because I then turned around and I was like, you know what? Let me just look at the Arizona show because that's where I'm at. I didn't apply for pre-sale or anything, but I was like, you know, sometimes Ticketmaster, you know, she's, she a little scammy. However, sometimes you can cheat the system. I don't know how this happened, but I cheated the system. I went into the Ticketmaster app and I was able to find two tickets to the first row of like the seating area because how our stage was it was stage pit you know seated area balcony obviously snatched it up i wanted to go for four but at the same time i was like well if anything like my sister and i can go because she loves olivia just as much as i do if you saw the amount of merch that the two of us have combined like we're feeding this girl like we are paying for her meals she should personally thank us for keeping the lights on that's all I gotta say. So I was super excited about it and I could not wait to tell my sister. So at this point during the day, like this was an all day thing, ticketing. And that's usually what happens with me with ticketing. It's an all day experience. What do you mean normal people just take an hour out of their day? No, that's not how I work. So I go, pick up my sister, tell her what's going on, super excited, and I was like, you know what, let me show you how it happened because it's kind of crazy. But let me do it on my computer, not on my phone. So we come home, get on my computer, and I'm like, look, I'll show you the process. I clicked our day, I did this, I did that. Tell me why two pit tickets pop up. Huh? You're telling me I was crying three hours earlier because I couldn't go to California and now I have four tickets to Olivia. Okay, that's what we're doing. And honestly, that should have like told me how crazy that night was going to be. Like that should have been an indication. So then how the roster turned out is myself, my sister, two of my best friends, Jacob and Emily, and they decided to fly out here because I was like, yo, I got two tickets, like, so I pick them up from the airport. I'm taking them to their downtown hotel because the concert is at, what is it called now? The Arizona Federal Theater. It used to be called Comerica, and now it's the Arizona Federal Theater. Like, make us sound more like a red state, I dare you. But the place that they were staying at was like a five minute walk from, you know, the theater. I was gonna say arena. No, 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 that's not where we were at. So it's just really close, it's convenient. I was gonna stay with them, like we were just gonna walk over, blah, 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 it was gonna be a fun time. So we're parking, I'm taking my friends up, we're gonna go drop off their luggage, go explore, go have fun, live our life. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Tell me why when we're walking around the corner, there's tour buses parked in front of the hotel. And like blacked out, no like indication of who is on the bus. So we were kind of like, okay, well it could be this, it could be that but it could be and like it was kind of a joke you know like haha it's olivia's like cars <laughs> we just were like you know what it's gonna be the joke of the weekend whatever so we're at the hotel we're getting ready obviously i had to dress up because i don't know how to go to a concert like a normal person and i have this beautiful butterfly top took some photos thank you jacob but it was fun like i got a lot of compliments on my top even though i was kind of feeling a little self-conscious because i kind of felt overdressed i'm like i'm not even wearing a bra like i'm wearing leather pants where am i going 
Anyway, so I go into the show and oh my God, being in the pit was one crazy. Being in any pit is beyond crazy, but to be there for like Olivia's first show and I've been with this girl for a while now, I had like this overwhelming proud mom moment, proud sister moment. I don't know what it is, but I sincerely cried like the first five songs of the of the show. It was embarrassing. And thankfully I have no footage of that because I wasn't vlogging. I literally was sitting there sobbing. My sister was like in charge of, you know, getting any footage that both of us wanted. Yeah, I just think back to it and I'm just really embarrassed. <laughs> like, why are you crying? Are you okay? Like, I didn't even cry this much when I saw Ariana live. I didn't cry this much when I saw BTS live. But for some reason, this show just brought so much out of me. I don't know if it was because like, I, I was kind of like living in the moment and like I was able to show my friends around and we were having a good time and like, Maybe it was just me really appreciating what was happening after the last couple years that I've had. I don't know, you tell me, where is a therapist in my comments? Hi, hit me up. But the show guys, oh, magnificent.
You know, Olivia does this thing where when she's getting into the tour bus, like she'll wave to people, maybe come say hi. So we we're like, you know what? Let's get crazy, let's get wild, and let's do that as well. But we were like right at <laughs> finally got barricade. We were at the front of like the whole entire crowd, so that was really cool. Until an ambulance showed up. I still don't know what happened. Hopefully they're okay. Oh no. And then Miss Sophia was at the show. I was like, girl, where were you sitting? Because I would have loved to sit, sat next to you and just cried. Oh my God. And you guys, you don't understand like this girl, this woman is already like gorgeous, breathtaking, phenomenal, never been done before. But in real life, it's different. Like she literally glows with just good vibes, happiness, positivity. And she looks so cute in her little dress. Like, So then after all that happened, they did announce that Olivia, you know, like she already got on the bus, she left, nothing else was happening. They were taking away like the, um, like the fences and everything. So we we're like, okay, I guess it's time for us to go. Going back to the hotel because I'm actually gonna go drop my sister off back home. Uh, Cause she actually had school the next day. God bless her, like running on three hours of just adrenaline and fun. But anyway, as we're heading back to the hotel to go grab her stuff, get back in the car, take her, blah, blah, blah we see the buses are still there. So we're like, okay, well then that couldn't have been Olivia's bus because they already left. Lo and behold, we walk into the lobby of the hotel and we see three, three or four people with Sour Crew t-shirts on. Girl. <laughs> I wish I had it on camera because I think all of us were like this walking. We're like. 
like trying not to make it obvious that we were staring, but we were just kind of like, oh my god, oh my god. Sister grabs her stuff, head back downstairs, and they're still there. So we're kind of like, you know, should we talk to them? Like, should we say hi? Should we do this? Should we do that? Because obviously, you know, they're working, they're on the clock. We don't want to bother them, but you know, it, it's kind of cool. Like, it's cool to see someone who is a part of such a big production, who is a part of a show that was so spectacular. It'd be nice to say hi whatever so we're walking and Jacob and Emily were like okay maybe we can give them something to give to Olivia because while we were waiting for Olivia to come out come say hi to everyone they both decided that they wanted to give her something I think Emily's it was like a butterfly necklace and Jacob had like a bracelet that he made so they're like oh my god maybe we can give it to them and then they can give it to Olivia blah 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 so we walked downstairs and they were super nervous they're like wait a minute I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I can go up and say hi. And I was like, just do it, it's fine. Like, the worst they can say is like, no, you gotta go, kind of a thing, you know? And at that point, it's like, I understand. I'm not gonna be mad over it. So tell me why we get off the elevator. We're walking this way towards the lobby. You have to turn. This is where they're sitting. Here's the front door. Tell me why they go, merp, merp right past them and run out the front door. We get outside and they're just like, I couldn't do it. So mama bear, your internet mom was like, all right, I got this. I grabbed the stuff, turned back around, which honestly now looking back is kind of embarrassing because they probably had some idea of what was going on. Like we're all in our merch, you know, just walking around like staring at them going back and forth. That's embarrassing, but hopefully they're used to it. Hopefully they're like, yeah, not surprising. So we turn around, go back into the lobby, and I was so intimidated, not gonna lie. Like, I was so confident. I'm like, okay, we're gonna go talk to them. It's easy. Like, I can talk to a person. I may stumble on a few words, but how hard can it be? I go up to them and they all look up at me and I was like, <laughs> I, I kind of didn't know where to start. I didn't really have a full game plan of like what to say and how to introduce the conversation. But thankfully, I don't know what it was, but my brain actually kicked in. The two brain cells were like, we gotta do this. And I started talking to them, I'm like, hi, like, I noticed your jackets, I noticed your shirts, and I just wanted to see, like, if you actually were on the Sour Tour crew, and, like, you actually work on the production. And they're like, yeah, we do. And, like, that was it. So I was like, okay. So then, I was like, you know what? Let me actually talk to them like people, and not just, like, Olivia's crew members. You know, like, they have their own life, they have their own story, they have their own job. So I turned around, and I was like, you know what? Let me just say real quick, we really appreciate everything that you do for the tour. Whatever your job is, like backstage, whether it's life, taking care of her, you do play a big role that does get overlooked. And I just want to say thank you for everything that you do, whatever it may be, because we super appreciate it. Best thing I could have done, ice broken. I was so excited because then they started talking to me and we got some tea. Girl, tell me why this like man who I was like really scared of because I was like he's literally gonna tell us to go away and maybe call us a slur. I don't know. He turns around and like starts talking to me and it's just like, oh my god, yeah, I've worked like on different tours. I've worked with Garth Brooks, but like Olivia is super nice. She's so loving. Like she's one of. He literally was like, she's one of the nicest people that I've ever worked with. He's had such a good time on the tour. Granted, he was kind of ready for it to end because he had been on the road, I think he said, for like two months, two, three months or whatever. But he was just so nice. And then he was telling me, so with the buses that they have, he had a bag that had just like a bunch of equipment, obviously super expensive. And uh, somebody actually broke in to the bus and stole the bag of like all the equipment. They didn't even really know like what they were stealing. They just kind of got in the bus, apparently, allegedly, right? Not trying to go to jail. But <laughs> allegedly they got in the bus and just kind of started grabbing things, not really knowing what it was, just to get out. Honestly, from what he was saying, it sounded like that person didn't expect to get as far as he did and just kind of panicked and was like, uh. <laughs> so he escapes, right? But tell me why Mr. Old Man, ooh, God bless his soul. What should we call him? Let's call him Paul. He's giving me kind of Paul vibes. Tell me why Paul turned around and was like, oh, but I didn't even worry about it because I had like the little air tag thing on my bag. So I could track this idiot no matter where he went and I had already called the police. But then the robber decided I guess that he wasn't done and he came back to the bus thinking that he was gonna steal more things. And when he did that, the police were already there and he got arrested. So that's a tea for you. Thanks, Paul. <laughs> 
So yeah, we were just sitting there chit-chatting and we were chit-chatting for quite a while too. I want to say we were there for like a good five to ten minutes. Towards the end, you know, I was just like, okay, we should probably leave them alone. Like they got, they postmated pizza, which I was super jealous of. I was like, girl, that's what we're doing when we get back upstairs. They looked like, like they were getting ready to leave. They had all their luggage. I don't really know quite what they're waiting for, but I was like, okay. We've overstayed our welcome, we should leave. So I look at the lady because she, I guess, is like really close with Olivia. Or I, I shouldn't say really close, but like she works a little more closely with her. And so we asked her, we're like, can you give this to Olivia? So we handed her the, the bracelet, the necklace, and I mean, hopefully it got to her. Now looking back, when we went back up to the room, we should have written a note to go with it and be like, hey, Olivia, good show, cried my eyes out pay for my therapy, love you boo. But we were not thinking that far ahead. Head freaking empty, let's be real. So we gave it to her, she put it in her bag and she's like, I'll make sure it gets to her. Again, hopefully it did. Um, and then we left, dropped my sister off, took 300 hours to try to find a food establishment <laughs> that was open. That's a whole different, oh, that's a whole different story time in itself. But got back to the hotel, just kind of talked about it. And I don't know, just, I mean, I can't speak for my friends, but I realized like how cool of an experience that actually was and how and how much I appreciate people behind the scenes and tours. Don't get me wrong, like the crew is a huge part of tour and I know that, but actually getting to sit down and talk with a couple members of a tour was really cool. Like it was kind of one of those experiences where it's like, you're gonna walk away with it. One, with more knowledge of something that you love, but two, way more respect. And especially for them to talk so highly of Olivia. Cause granted, you know, obviously like we were fans. Like we're sitting there talking about, oh yeah, we just were at the show, da da da. They didn't have to go into detail about like how good she was of a person. You know, they could have easily just been like, oh yeah, glad you enjoyed the show. No, they like, they gave us details of like, no, she's super fun to work with. She's super sweet, super nice. And that also just kind of made my night. I was like, okay, I'm supporting this young woman. I love her to death, love what she does, love her songs, cried multiple times to them. And she's a good person. Like that's so good to hear. It was just a really good experience. Again, kind of wish I'd vlogged it, but at the beginning of the night, I really was thinking to myself, you know, I'm just gonna enjoy my time with my friends. I don't really get to see them in person that often. And then all that happened. So, boo boo the fool. One thing I've learned, vlog. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this like little story time vlog, sit down kind of thing. I know it was a little different, but hopefully it was fun. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one.